Hello, welcome to this talk. I am so honored and so happy to be here with Jennifer Ruth Russell, a new friend, but I think an old friend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Jennifer, there's so many things to say about her. I will read your bio and then I will just add on my own um, reflections about you. Mm -hmm. But in Jennifer's words, Jennifer is an award-winning songwriter, a spiritual mentor, and a channel for Mother Mary. She's authored three books in the Mother Mary series, and the newest one is called Opulence Infusion, A New Faith Currency. Jennifer's successful podcast is called Morning Light Meditations, which I love. <laughs> Her intimate partnership with Mother Mary, Archangel Michael, and St. Germain is the unseen force that founded and directs the Angels of Abundance Ascension Academy. Jennifer's life's vision is to empower light workers to take back their money, power, and step into their sovereignty. Jennifer has been a spiritual mentor for over 19 years. She trained at the Agape International Spiritual Center under Reverend Michael Bernard Beckwith. And according to uh, Reverend Beckwith, a moment with Jennifer is like immersing yourself in the inspiration of the best music and the love of a most powerful prayer. Mm. <laughs> I uh, agree with that. Mm. <laughs> so I, Thank you. I, have, yeah, I've just gotten to know Jennifer, but every time I've been in your presence, as I've told you, I just, I have this very unusual experience that I don't think I've had with anyone else ever in my life, uh, <clears throat> which is this, this V of light just immediately descends on my body and starts to do magic. Wow. <laughs> and I, I really can't explain it. And, um, and, and as I have, you know, started to get to know your, your books, I realized that you and I were channeling books at the exact same timing with very similar messages coming through. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm just so happy and honored again for you to be here and be part of this and giving me chills going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. am just thrilled to be here, Martha. I, my heart is so opened by your presence, and I'm just grateful for this this time to play in the light with you and absolutely ground re-becoming the one with you. It's just such an honor. Wonderful. Yeah. So the topic that we are going to talk about today is how to create from your divine authority. So one place we could start is just with the question of what do you mean when you say divine authority? What does that speak to for um, you? That's, that's a perfect place to start. So mm -hmm. <laughs> your divine authority is um, your divine presence. And it is really anchored in this threefold flame within your heart. Mm -hmm. um, it is color, there's colors, blue, blue for the divine masculine. And we can get really deeper into this, but the blue is the strength of the omnipotence that you are. You've been given that gift. The yellow is in the center. It is that beautiful place of your holy innocence, your the, the Christ Buddha child the anointed one, the Christed being, we could say, and then the pink ray of unconditional love, the, the mama bear, the, the place of total nurturing, artistry, you know, that, that ability to just ah, completely be without needing to prove anything, right? It's just the love, which is also, as we get deeper into it, it is the cohesion that brings everything together. So this threefold flame is like a garment. It is a garment of your holy self, your beingness, your beloved presence. And each one of these has a really specific job. They're also located in, in your chakras and some certain specific chakras. 
to begin that wonderful system of creating. And this system is not something I made up. It comes from the way the mighty Elohim absolutely built this solar system with seven steps of creation, which we could call, which they used to call uh, an old, old time term, which is called precipitation, which means manifestation. And it took them 900 years to develop this through this these steps, this system. Of course, it doesn't take us nearly that long now to do what we're doing because everything is, you know, well, they were building an entire solar system. <laughs> I don't know what you're building in your life, but it's not going to take you that long. <laughs> Yeah, so that so I I'll take you through the steps as we get through, you know, that, but that's basically your divine authority, your heart center. Your heart center actually was not made out of the same fibers that the rest of you are made out of, the rest of your body. Your heart center actually was made out of the most refined purified substance of of source. And Mother Mary was actually there when you were in your womb in that part of your heart just making sure to fine tune those fibers making sure that your heart was created to be the center mm -hmm. of your i am presence mm -hmm. so does is that clear for you it Come is on. and there, there are two more words or two more phrases i would love to hear your definition of um one is the i am presence because you use that phrase a lot and i i think i think i know what you're saying but it would be i would love to hear it in your words and then also just when you say the word creation, I think you're meaning something way beyond perhaps what I was Im immediately thinking when I heard that you use that word. Um, yeah, I would love to hear. Awesome. Well, let's start with creation because creation is our true nature. We're, we create every day. We're creating every day. Every time you think a thought, you're creating. And we are co-creators so we are remembering this talk about re-becoming mm -hmm. this is something that we are really being asked to step into our own sovereignty and it's not like the little engine that could you know it's not like that place of like if i do everything on the list and if i really do it well if i prove myself it's just really simply a remembering that you are this place of divinity which is called the I am presence that's been given to us from Saint Germain when we started this age of Aquarius. Saint Germain said there are four things that I want you to download from me. And one of them is that everyone has an I am presence, which is actually a beautiful channel of God. It is you. It is, you know, some people call it the monad, which is a, a big uh, study of this, this you know, these 12 souls that have been expanded to 12 becomes 144. I don't want to get into that teaching because it's it's even farther than my mind can comprehend at this point. But I understand that if this if source is like this great, beautiful central sun, then I am a ray directly from source. And that is my I am presence. Yeah. That is my divinity. That is the divine authority of my life. When I say not my will, but thine be done. I'm actually bowing to the divinity within me. I'm not giving it away to somebody outside of me that that uh, that may be a fearful God or maybe, you know, something that I have to bow down. And it's really just here within me. The cool thing is, um, and this is, let me tell you the, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself, but That's the good. other things that beloved Saint Germain said is that we all have a tube of light. Okay, this is a this is a tube right around us. It's it you know usually it's around nine feet, but as you get more and more uh, filled with light, it gets bigger and bigger. This is your like responsibility. This is where no one can really enter unless you give them permission. This is where you need to protect your energy. I always love to use Archangel Michael's protection mm -hmm. as I'm getting stronger and stronger. But your beloved, I am presence is that beautiful protector of that energy. Hmm. Um, the third thing is that we now have the violet flame, which is the blue flame and the pink flame together as one, the masculine, the feminine as one. It is the flame of this age of Aquarius, freedom and justice. And just look at what's going on. Hmm. But just look what's going on. You know, it truly is already 
getting to be that, that place of freedom and justice. And the fourth thing is that our, all of our purpose is to ascend. Everybody, every, every human, we're, we're like about 25,000 years late <laughs> to ascend. <laughs> but it's truly what we're all working on now. So that's really the I am presence, the creation. We are more and more standing into that divine power. And really, I guess Abraham Hicks said this, right? Deliberate, deliberate creation. We are really starting to use our creative powers now um, on a much higher level. And the thing that really opened that whole thing up for me was starting to co-create with the archangels and the masters, because that's what they're here for. We are part of this beautiful system of creation. And we are so important in this system because we are the connectors. We're, they're connectors from the higher realms and, and the earth. The earth represents the elemental kingdom, which is, is a beautiful part of this, this trio of the company of heaven. It's the elemental kingdom, the angelic kingdom, and then the masters, which we are in that, we're in that place of becoming ascended masters, mm -hmm. all of us. And so we absolutely are the connectors between the angelic realm and the elemental, the beautiful Gaia energy mm -hmm. that needs this relationship with our, with our Gaia, Gaia partners need to be repaired so much. That's what yeah. I, I know. That's part of your work too. You know, this, it's really time for us to come into our co-creative integrity because if anyone has suffered the most, it has to be the elemental kingdom. Yeah, that, that's, they, that's pretty much all of what my second book, Gaia Speaks, is all that. <laughs> Gaia yeah. speaking that. that yes, reality. we, we yeah. kind of abdicated our role of, of really being the caretakers of them because they are designed to, to just obey. They're designed to take what we think and we create and just say, oh, yes, okay. Mm. And then they abdicated because it was too much. It got to be too much. So now we've got to come back together. That's just my understanding of about it and I can't wait to read your book because I know it's going to teach me more about this. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, and when I hear you talking, what I feel in my body is a sense of um, that divine light or that divine source energy presence that we literally are. Um, it's It feels to me like, and it's related to the re-becoming the one concept too but it, it, I feel like when we come back into the remembering that we are we are inherently never never broken we never have been broken we can't be on that level and we come back into that wholeness that completeness of that source light energy reality and it's not so much that we are um I want to say that not so much that we're, we're, we're leaving behind anything. It's that we're just stepping back into the full power and presence that we inherently are. And then any misconception of us having been broken or anything other than this presence just sort of fades away mm -hmm. in a certain sense. Um, I don't know if that fits with what you're saying. Absolutely. I agree with you. And I also think that we have to take responsibility for anything we need to clean up, you know, because yes. uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's part of the fourth dimensional um, work we're doing right now is, yeah. oh, yeah. Clearing, clearing yeah. and clearing and clearing and clearing. Yeah. Yeah. Through all time. And that my experience is there's, I've gone through huge and I still go every day, every day in my praying, I clear out you know, I can feel through infinite dimensions and infinite timelines, just, just energetics that are needing to transmute back to the light mm -hmm. continuously. Thank yeah. you. Thank mm. you. <laughs> thank you. I say thank you to you and thank you to me and everybody that's doing that. It's just really mm -hmm. powerful because that's why the light quota is going up and up and up. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And I do want to say that you know, the definition that I understand about ascension is this high, holy, beautiful self of ours and this very human self, which is so in itself very valuable as well. 
coming mm-hmm. together in that divine union. That's ascension. Mm-hmm. That's when, you know, that that wonderful, I guess we could call marriage uh, within, mm-hmm. is when we are absolutely then spiritually free. You know, we are absolutely in that place of spiritual freedom. Beautiful. <clears throat> So did you, does it feel right to move on to the, the steps of um, your name? Yeah, let's do that. Let's mm-hmm. do that. And I'm going to ask, as I speak about that, I'm going to call on the archangels that are, that are uh, absolutely over this and the mighty Elohim, because they are, woo, talk about powerful. They're part of the elemental kingdom. They're a high order of the elemental kingdom. In fact, those of you that are Bible scholars, they're mentioned in Genesis, you know, and the Elohim created heaven and earth. So we start right here in the blue flame, which is located in your throat. And this is that beautiful flame that's in your heart, but we're going to just now talk about it, how it's how it lands in your body in other places. And it is the divine masculine. Uh, it is that place of faith and provision and protection and divine will. It is, you know, speaking your truth. It's located right here, Archangel Michael and his divine compliment, beloved lady Faith. They are located right here in your body. That's why when you speak your truth, you feel bold, you feel strong because it, it is a strength. If you don't feel comfortable using the word divine masculine, you can always go into just the essence of what it is. You know, this is the first place that we speak our truth, and we make the choice. Mm -hmm. So the beginning of every creation is desire, right? It is that place of, okay, you desire something. Maybe you desire it because it's not there, or, you know, there's contrast around it. That is when you're required to make a choice. Your will center, I will to be. So I will to be, I will to do, I will to become. That's what the beloved divine you know, that which God intends. That's a beautiful thing to say to really get in alignment. This is what I want to create. I'm choosing, I will to create a successful business. Let's just use that as an example. Mm -hmm. Then we move into the second flame. We're going to call in beloved Archangel Jophiel and Christine right here on your crown chakra. Mm -hmm. And this is that place of the holy, innocent Christ Buddha child that place of illumined wisdom. It is that place of perceiving and catching the divine idea from what you've chosen. It's really important. It's counter to what many of us have been taught to do. Once you make the choice, let's go out and get it. You know, let's go out and do, right? And this is about stillness, Mm -hmm. of really catching and embodying the full beautiful divine reality, the divine idea. So you you might say also embodying it. So instead of going out, making a, a to-do list and checking it off, it's about coming into the stillness. And the beautiful uh, Cassiopeia and Minerva are the, the uh, Elohim that rule this chakra and this beautiful flame. It's yellow right in your heart. I'll co- I, I'm going to keep coming back to the heart because it's truly where the movement is that we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. The third is the beautiful crystalline pink, rose pink Mm -hmm. of your heart. And of course it is, it is located right here in your heart and beloved Archangel Shamuel and Lady Charity are the archangels that we're just going to call in to help you feel this even more. Mm -hmm. Archangel Shamuel is the archangel of adoration. (laughs) And charity is just the spirit within love. I know a lot of you have heard of Lady Charity. She's powerful. They're all powerful. Everybody's powerful. And the mighty Elohim, Orion, and Angelica. So this is the divine feminine, or if you're more comfortable with just speaking into the the qualities, it is unconditional love. It is that place of of tolerance. You'll know that you're an initiation of the heart if you're with somebody that's very unlovable. (laughs) You know that you're being asked to learn unconditional love. Um, It's creativity. And the most important part around creating 
It is the cohesion that draws everything together. If you're not loving your create, creative sacred business, let's say, you're not creating it. You gotta love it. You gotta allow the love to be the glue that brings it all together. So when you think of it, this is almost like the perfect transcendent, I don't know if you want to call it family, but let's call it family because the wisdom draws on the perfect parenting to absolutely go into the world because it's beautiful divine idea. The divine feminine holds it all together in unconditional love and the divine masculine gives it strength to move forward in the world. So those are the three steps of how to create from your, your beautiful divine authority in your heart. And to me, this is really where you need to go whenever you're speaking your affirmations, whenever you're speaking your prayers. It's important to come back into this threefold flame. They need to be balanced. If they're out of balance, it's not going to work. You know, if you're, if you're, too much into the will, it gets too strident. If you're too much into the love, it gets too too flabby and kind of, you know, mushy, mushy, mush. And if you get too much just into the wisdom, it's just left out there by itself. It's just like you can just be wise on a rock on the top of a mountain somewhere, <laughs> you know, but it needs the other two to, to really bring it together into form. Hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. The simple teaching of that. Yeah. <laughs> it leaves me a little bit speechless to sort of I just get this to this point of just wanting to be with it you know yes and yes we're, let's do a meditation with it that will really seal it too in because to me most of us are suffering from too much information mm -hmm. and not enough experience you know mm -hmm. because to me it's all about the experience yeah absolutely yeah um before before we do that, do you want to uh, um, do you want to give people a context or um, say anything to set the stage? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, as I was I was getting ready for uh, today, Mother Mary definitely had some things to say and, and she had a process she wanted to take us through. Wonderful. with these beautiful archangels that are going to be joining us to really feel the magnificence. She says when you when she sees this beautiful part of our being, the, the presence I am, she said it's like fire, like the sacred fire. We look like sacred fire and we are our, our our eyes are like stars, mm -hmm. you know, and our hair is like constellations. It's just like the magnificence of this part of our being. And the reason that it's so important to keep creating from this place, which we could say, I'm creating from my heart space. That's a very beginning place to, to start. And there's, it's just as valid, just as you say, what does creation mean? It can be just very simple, or you can get into the high holy teaching of it that gets really, really esoteric. But really, this is where you need to stay in alignment because it keeps you, you know, the, 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 the blue flame, the, the divine masculine, I, to me, it's amazing that this is the one where you, you will to do something. And at the same time, it's surrendering. <laughs> it's a surrender into that, that beautiful divinity within me, you know, because when my, my little self really, really gets on those shoes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I get out of sync. I get out of sync with the surrender. You know, so it's just continually asking me to surrender to the to the higher, to the higher. And I am now, I mean, I used to, I was raised as a missionary kid, right? And so I was like, oh, I'm so, I'm so worried about the will of God because I know I'm going to be asked to be on some des desert island somewhere with no, no other people, you know, or something like that. It was just a fearful place. Mm. And now it's a place of such serenity for me. Well, and and yeah, the, I was just debating whether it felt right to ask you this. <laughs> you can you can pass or answer your choice. But I I you have mentioned to me a little bit about your own uh, journey with 
growing up with this very strong masculine image mm -hmm. of the divine and then having an experience of finding mother mary and your connection to the divine feminine mm -hmm. and then coming into a place of i don't know how you would word it but essentially my my interpretation of what a little of what you've told me is a place of healing or rebalancing of the two which is what you're talking about in this inner <clears throat> threefold flame in our hearts the way you're describing it and the energetic that i feel as you're talking feels so completely balanced and so healing um and so i can feel i can feel it in me at least it might be my projection but my sense is that you really have integrated these which is such a parallel to what i feel like our world is trying to do yes um so i don't know feel free to say as little or as much about that in your own process but i just wanted to name that I, i'm feeling that as you're talking you know i i think everyone is going to be drawn to what they need because as i said these three have to be balanced and it's amazing to me that the child the holy innocent child is the anointed one Okay, mm. it is the one that's going to be knowing mm. where to go mm. and actually directing the other two. Mm. So it's uh, when I got when I came into that place of really wanting to know the divine feminine because it was foreign to me. I mean, the only thing I was taught was that Mother Mary was just she was just functioning as, you know, a mother that birthed Jesus. Right. There was not much else said about her. And in my good Presbyterian raising, raising whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and when I started doing this study in the company of heaven and the rays and everything, I was like, wow, I really want to get to know the divine feminine. Mm -hmm. And so I, I actually met Mother Mary on a podcast with uh, Elizabeth Clare Prophet, and she was calling her Ma Ray. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, separating the word as the Ma, the Ma Ray. And and there was a new rosary that she was using, and I really I was I was fascinated by that. Although I never spoke the rosary at, at, as a kid, I ended up getting a statuette of a Mother Mary figure and put it on my altar. And I just realized there were there were quite a few things that that happened. But when I went and I want to share this story I shared with you when I went to the Ukraine mm. um, in 2013, and oh, I saw the beautiful community there they were just so hungry for anything sacred and to come together in in sacred community was so valuable to them they would travel for like four or five days just to be at this conference and we couldn't call it a any kind of religious concert i think we called it a scientific something or other mm -hmm. but i got to see all around the ukraine the beautiful paintings of the divine mother and mother and mary magdalene and it was I was standing on this roadside attraction and it it was a lot of little cottages and I went into one cottage and there's this ancient painting of Mother Mary. It was very dull. But when I looked at that, I all of a sudden heard her say, it's time, Jennifer, I want to I want to start talking to you. I want to start bringing my messages through you. And of course, it was one of those moments where you're just like, is this real? I, cry, I was crying like crazy. And, and then we just started communicating like every day. I started spending time just listening, writing down. And, and that's, um, wow, it's been almost, <laughs> it's almost been 10 years now. I can't believe that because I feel like I'm still learning about the divine feminine and this, this connection. But that brought me into such a, a different place because Mother Mary healed my heart. <laughs> my heart, you know, and, and I think we all need this kind of healing. It's like a, it's like not, it's hard for us to even get a reference from it, our, our, our human mothers, but it's such a tender, thorough loving of every part of your heart. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what happened to me. Healed my finances, healed my body, healed my relationships, especially the relationship with my son. It's just really amazing really amazing and through that then the beautiful anointed one started to rise because if you if you really know that you're a precious child and i just mean that not in any kind of immature way 
It's taken me 60 years to know I'm a precious child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you know that, you can do anything. You are empowered to do anything. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it reminds me of, um, I, I hold a circle uh, for astrology students um, to help help astrology students essentially feel the astrological knowledge through their bodies right and so we're just we're just we're focusing on just the zodiac signs and feeling those in our bodies and so the one that this is making me think of is leo the, the sign of leo and as i was channeling this embodiment experience of of leo really what came through was um a sense of being the flower that is a perfect divine masterpiece literally and the the sun which in a sense can be a metaphor for the for source right the sun is beaming down those rays you were talking about to the petals of us as the flower mm -hmm. and then our petals just open fully you know to the sunlight and the sunlight and our petals become like one like in a dance and the sun is saying, yeah, please open fully to me because you are this divine masterpiece, literally that nothing else can be, mm -hmm. you know, and to be, to fully surrender into a complete self-actualization like that is, is a literal gift <laughs> to the world. Mm -hmm. um, and we think of I speak for myself, but I, I have a hard time sometimes fully opening like that because I feel like I feel a certain kind of guilt or like it's a, I don't want to be selfish or, you know, um, I don't want to take too much of the spotlight or whatever it is. Um, but it seems related to what you're saying there. Um, yeah. <clears throat> clearing yeah. it out, clearing out all that myth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That's beautiful. Hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just drinking in the sun here. <laughs> yeah. I know. yeah. Um, was there anything else you wanted to say about your own journey with that? Or do you feel like you want to move on to the meditation or what feels right for you? You know, the journey continues to deepen. Um, and it's just so luscious. I mean, I, I'm, I'm into the journey, even the times which they still happen to me, you know, all the time that I, I, I come up against a, a wad of guilt, you know, and I have to like, wow, what is that? You know, it's, it's, it's truly amazing. And the toolbox just seeps to keep not only expanding, but it's just, it's getting more efficient, let me say, <laughs> you know, instead of me being out of sorts for a, a a day it you yeah. know now it's taking shorter and shorter period of time which is is just really wonderful and um i guess i want to talk about um light language and oh. and what is coming out in now for us because what you were just talking about you know the sun just totally expanding the petals of who we are and mm -hmm. that's really to me what is going on now especially with the opulence infusion it's like it's beyond what we think uh, the opulence infusion is a new faith currency that's able to use anything that we have already, okay? <laughs> Which is so cool. It's like our own money cannot be limited by that. And Mother Mary said, the way that you're going to help people bring this into their bodies, into their consciousness, is through the light language songs. And, you know, light, I was taught, I wasn't taught, but I received the gift of speaking in tongues, it was called when I was 19 years old. And I had no idea what that gift was. You know, I just was taught that to use it in my own spiritual practice to edify my soul, you know, and I, and I would. And then I, I really got way far away from any spiritual practice for a while, went on a whole 20 year, uh, I used to call it my rebellion, but now I call it my freedom journey. You know, I just had to just see, okay, everything that I was taught Mm -hmm. it's not quite feeling right to me. I need to try something else. And I, you know, I just, I just went with whatever was going on, got very much into the earth, into, into my own sexuality, into, you know, everything that was about being here. 
And I would always like kind of see, is this language still here? You know, and it was always still there. It was just like, wow, what is this? It's just so mystical and weird. It's like, and um, about three years ago, uh, Michael and I were asked to come and do the music for Patricia Coda Robles' um, World Congress, uh, World Congress of Illumination, which is a beautiful event that uh, she puts on every year. Mm. And while I was there, this just started to speak through me. It started to sing through me. It was like, I couldn't stop. Every time we were doing a meditation, it was just like, whoa. And, and I, I'm starting to, I started using it in songs. And, and then when the opulence of fusion started really coming in, it was like, these songs are meant to be given to the world mm. so that people can start unlocking their opulence codes. They mm. really are ready. They're ready for that now. And so um, I released uh, a beautiful EP just this year, just in, in uh, January this year. And there is a gift that I have for everyone that I would love you to receive a meditation with Mother Mary and, and, uh, and a song that's, also, that's called uh, Unlock, Unlocking Your Opulence Codes. So yep. I wanted to tell everybody about that. That's a beautiful way also to just stay in touch with me and become a part of my world. And, and that, uh, that is there. The link for that is with this video. Um, yeah, that's so that's separate from this video, you're going to lead us through a meditation now in this video, but then in addition, is this yes, silence, like yes, this. in addition, and it's, uh, it's really a it's really an experience of releasing the old way of doing money, mm. and uh, really receiving a, a whole new way of creating and it's really very much to do with receiving and i just keep getting the hit to that there is an asking and a receiving mm. there we go back to the threefold flame you know the asking would be the divine fem uh, masculine receiving would be the divine feminine and right in between them is that beautiful anointed one that is ready to ask and to receive <laughs> mm. yeah it's so beautiful so mm. it's a sound healing that you'll receive with Mother Mary and, and me. I cannot wait to listen to that. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> and of course, of course, just before we go into the meditation, because we might be in La La Land by the end of it, <laughs> but, um, you you have your um, your academy, right? That uh, people can join yes. you in. Um, anything you want to say about what you offer for people? Um, I would love to, you know, um, the Angels of Abundance Ascension Academy is a beautiful place to come and spend some time with Mother Mary um, to really heal your finances and your life. Mm -hmm. It's also a great place to get to know who are the Ascended Masters, who are the Archangels, who are the Mighty Halloween, and how do you work with them? How do you work with this amazing, vast, company of heaven that is, I mean, they're just like our professors, you know, they're like our, uh, they're, to me, they're just my family now, you know, they're not somebody that's asking us to worship them, but they're really somebody that they're here to help us. And especially now, I mean, we need all the help we can get, because um, we kind of made a mess. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, we got to clean it up now. And it's nobody's going to save us and come in and do it for us. But we have so much support mm -hmm. to do that. And so in the academy, you really can build a strong uh, ascension foundation. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Wonderful. <clears throat> Great. And all your contact information is also going to be listed with this video. So it's awesome. All, all there. Awesome. Yay. So shall we? Yeah. All, all right. right. Let's do it. <clears throat> so I just invite you to come within your heart space, anchor, anchor into the seat that you are sitting and into the ground, into beloved Pachamama, Gaia. And just begin your breath. Just begin to focus on your breath.
and allow yourself to be still. And just do your best to open up your heart to that vast magnificence of your divine presence, your beloved I am. Just speak into love. I love and adore you, beloved presence I am. I want to feel you more today than I have ever felt you before. And just feel the beautiful presence of Archangel Michael surrounding you in a divine cloak of protection and light. Just allowing you to play as a light being as you are, that you are, without any worry, fully filling up that protective tube of light around you. Now I just invite you to open up your heart to beloved Mother Mary and feel that grafting of your hearts coming together as one. She's going to just help us with this meditation, and she has a message for us to begin with. Beloved, you are a spirit being, a lightning rod in a human body. There is no judgment of your choices. Your gender was a choice you made before you came. It serves your divine mission. That which is yours to do while you are here is also balancing your evolution, your eternal journey. The human being is designed to be born through the joining of a male and female, your parents, it will always be this way for earthlings. But beloved, hear me now. You are here to transcend all gender separation. For you truly are not binary. You are not two. You are one. A multiple dimensional spirit being of light. There's only one fundamental relationship in your life. And every other relationship is an offspring from this one. It is your own divine union, your divinity. Everything makes sense when this relationship has been established and becomes the focus of your attention. You are the anointed one, the Buddha Christ presence in your own life. And as you breathe now, right into your heart space, I want you to feel yourself igniting that beautiful yellow, sunshine yellow ray right in the center of your heart. We're calling on beloved Jophiel and Christine to help you amplify the holy innocence of your illumined wisdom, of your sovereignty. It thrives in the center. It is the center of attention. Give it that. Allow it to just blaze now, beloved. And feel the transcendent parents.
of the divine masculine on the left, the blue flame. Archangel Michael and Lady Faith, feel it starting to expand as you light it now, lighting your strength, your courage, your faith, your will, and your surrender. The full provision and protection. And light the beautiful pink on the right. The divine feminine. The nurturer. The nudger. The beautiful artist. The glue that keeps everything and everyone together. And feel this pink flame now just starting to ignite and grow. These flames used to be nine feet tall, beloved. Allow yourself to step into the center of this nine foot flame around you. They do not mix. They are very individual, but they are very powerful. Allow yourself to step right into the center. And as you do that, feel yourself being lift up, lifted up right into the heart of your beloved I Am Presence. At the same time, ground into the earth, take your rightful place. For you have chosen to be here at this time. You have been asked to be here as a true volunteer for this amazing cosmic event. Thank you, beloved. And now feel yourself expanding as tall as Lady Liberty. Feel your little human self, the little part of you that wants to say small, just being picked up like a kitten in a mama, mama cat's mouth and just drawn up into your beloved presence. Into this divine union. Yo malawa i ko ya mawaha yonko le la la wa i u yo matiawa inko le la wa ya wa me yo yo wala chiko le la wa ya matiawa yo malawa. Inkolola Feel all of this beautiful presence of your union. Now flushing down right into your earth star, right below your feet and into the earth. For you truly are a rainbow bridge joining heaven and earth. Feel this perfect transcendent self, your perfect union, shining brightly now. As you begin to look at your life, flow unconditional love. Flow the wisdom, flow the beautiful creative power. Allow it to surround you and your environment. And start looking through this lens. Look at your life now through this place of creative power, the omnipotence. 
through that illumined wisdom, the omniscience. And through the love of your heart, the omnipresence. And feel yourself picking up this beautiful scepter of power that is the threefold flame of your heart. And as you start directing it and pointing it to different areas of your life, allow it to flood through your finances, all of your money. Resurrecting it into its perfection. See it flowing through your physical body. Instructing the cells of your body into perfect wholeness, perfect health and vitality. And now, beloved, just take that beautiful scepter of your power, the blue, the yellow, and the pink, beautiful torch at the end of your scepter of power, and run it through your relationships. Be curious. Where is this beautiful threefold flame out of balance in any relationship? Where have you given your power away? Or where have you been too powerful, overbearing? Allow that blue flame to just show you. What relationships could you use some more wisdom? See that yellow flame just flooding through any relationship that needs to be seen in a clearer light. Beloved Archangel Chofael and Christine, absolutely helping you to see clearly what you need to understand, where you are not feeling innocent and honoring your beautiful, anointed Christ Buddha child. And now we just see the pink rage is starting to flood through your relationships. Where are you not loving yourself completely? Samuel and Charity, show us where we could be more loving or where we have short-sighted ourselves, where we have absolutely denied ourselves. Thank you. Show us where we are absolutely not receiving or giving or where our giving and receiving are out of balance. And beloved, I want you to let go now and let me hold your heart. Literally let go and let me just Soothe your heart and cleanse your heart around your sexuality. Listen to my voice for what you need to know today to come into this place of your holy innocence, your power, and your true transcendent ability to love.
Beloved, now I give you back your heart. And I invite you to spend some time writing down what you received today and nurturing the balancing of your threefold flame. Ask for my help whenever you need it, for I am with you always. I love and adore you, Mother Mary. Oh, and I invite you to just gently come back into your full awareness in your body into now, to this moment. <sighs> Allow yourself to have plenty of time <clears throat> to re-enter into this current now. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a little beyond words. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I can just say that um, a couple of things I can attempt to put into words are that the taking that threefold flame of light and moving it through various areas of my life. Um, so, so powerful, so healing to feel the, the different qualities of the three flames. Because in my daily prayers, I surround myself every morning, every day, every time I pray with highest quantum source light but it, and, and I become, I re-become that and I release anything that's not that, right? But it's, it's one quality of a vibrational frequency. And so when I was feeling the three flames, it's, it's three distinct like brush strokes with, it, it's all source light, which is what I normally am feeling, but it's um, three different versions of the source light. So when I'm feeling, and so in my normal prayer, the source light, highest quantum source light surrounds each area of my life. And I see, and I feel, you know, kind of through the eyes of source light, 
every area of my life every day in my praying. But when I felt the three of them moving through, it was like getting a healing of a very distinct healing of that divine ma masculine, that divine child and the divine feminine as distinct colors of that light that is every color. <laughs> um, and it kind of woke up in me different things than just feeling the source light does yeah beautiful really powerful beautiful so it's a balancing about mm -hmm. yes yeah. yeah feels so good so 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 good yeah and then by the end what i was mainly hearing and feeling was that we are of course beings of light <laughs> i mean this is like when i put it into words it becomes almost it loses its meaning almost, but I'll, I'll say it in words because that's how we communicate <laughs> typically. For the <laughs> time being. <laughs> for the moment, right? But it was just a reminder to me that, that we are ultimately vibration, which we are, and that so much of this healing and this re-becoming the one is about us, at least for me, I'll speak for myself, but it feels like it's more universal too, is remembering ourselves at as that at that vibrational level mm -hmm. and that light level yes. in, in this body in this body too yeah. and here on earth with the vibrational being that is the planet earth mm -hmm. too um yeah yeah and the healing just goes it has so many layers and it just keeps going and going <laughs> yeah so so beautiful mm. i think you described it really well yeah. Mm. Fully planted on the earth, but fully filled with light. You know, it's such a, mm. that's, to, that's where we're, we're heading to more and more of that, you know, that, that experience that pretty soon we will be able to communicate telepathically much more than we have, you know, without words. And uh, this is to me, what prayer is too, is directing this light. You know, wow, I noticed that I'm not being really wise here. And so whew, I'm going to conduct that energy into where I see that it's needed. Yeah. And, you know, I love that, that the teachings over and over say again, you know, you need to have your threefold flame in balance. Mm -hmm. And that's helped me a lot um, to just become that really, that really place of feeling, well, I said it already, the precious child and being fully parented in the most transcendent way mm -hmm. um, because I really feel it's up to us to ask for that and to accept that because we haven't experienced it here. Mm -hmm. And if our relationships just continue to be um, products of what we experienced here, they're going to still stay in that real place of, of neediness and not fulfillment. You know, it's just like, it, it just is a battle uh, and it's been a battle between the sexes. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're coming out of that. We're coming into transcendent love. We're coming into transcendent sexuality. Yeah. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And one of the things I've I've been sitting with as I'm being asked to channel, you know, my next three books, which are Love Speaks, The Goddesses Speak, and The Gods Speak. I can't remember if I told you this when previously, but I, two years ago, I channeled the first draft of Love Speaks. And then over the summer of 2020, I channeled the first draft of The Goddesses Speak. And they were pretty easy for me to channel because I can relate to love and I can relate to the goddesses. <laughs> but I haven't started The God Speak. And uh, I think for me, this holding this symposium is a, on one level is a priming of me and a grounding in me as the channel uh, that I need to be in order to let these books come through. So one thing that clicked for me just now was a certain vibrational reality of a certain way of feeling the divine masculine that again, I think I, I can't learn through my mind. It's coming through this vibrational quality of the light of that, that blue flame, right? Um, the Archangel Michael energetic. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the way that you were talking about Mother Mary helping you to heal your heart, I can feel that in my own process, just feeling that 
that divine masculine flame energetic for me personally shifting something really significant um yeah, yeah. so again i'm just drawing the parallel to our world you know mm -hmm. each of us on an individual level are going to have our own healing journey with all of this but then our world is having the healing journey that we're all going through <laughs> absolutely and, yeah so powerful absolutely these tools yeah. yeah thank you so much Oh, you're so welcome. It's just been wonderful to be with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there any last thing you feel called to say or? I think I just want to encourage all of us, including myself, to stay very close um, to the beloved presence, mm -hmm. the I am that I am, mm -hmm. and just you know, because everything makes sense from there. Everything fits together from there. Um, and it does take, just like any relationship, it takes daily attention. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know, so, so just do that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I do it. I have to do it every single day, every yeah. single morning. That's for me. I do but too. absolutely, if I don't, my kids even notice. <laughs> yeah, my husband notices too. <laughs> He's like, did you meditate today? No. Do you need What's to go wrong? pray? <laughs> <laughs> like my 10 year old, my 15 year old. Are you sure? Do you need to go lie down for an hour and do your prayer thing? <laughs> yeah, I think probably I do. Oops. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and the last thing I'll say also related to that, as I was in that meditation with you just now, um, again, when I feel that threefold flame coming through, it's it's similar to, you know, when I see things through source light that, um, the reality that we, that we're quote unquote coming into actually already is, it's like the light illuminates the reality that already exists as opposed to bringing into form something that wasn't there. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Absolutely. We're just being able to lift up into it now. Yes. We're being, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. It's yeah. available. It's never gone. It's right. always been there, but we are starting to tap into it yeah. on a higher and higher level. I guess that's what where the dimensions are are helpful, you know, mm -hmm. that we actually are able to receive it. Like I'm I'm this this whole year I'm working on each chakra at a time, our 12 chakras and bringing them into their fifth dimensional potential yes. with a sanctuary which is a, a monthly um healing meditation I do that's a good 30 minutes of deep uh, a deep meditation mm -hmm. and <clears throat> just take the meditation we did did now but it was, was very intentional of freeing up and when we worked on the sacral chakra oh. oh my godness I mean that is like where we have held all of our angst of the sexes right? right of all our sexual life everything that has not just for this lifetime but forever and and then to bring it into this place of changing from what we used to think it was orange to actually a beautiful translucent pink that is now about transcendent love and sexuality. Yes. It's just like, Oh, wow. Oh, it's just oh, wow. thrilling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was a big, that was a big click for me there too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's just like, yep, yeah, that's what yeah. we were created to do. And that's what, that's why when I, I love what you said, because it's not, that we're trying to get something and we're just lifting into it. It's already there. It's already, it's right. It, it is yeah. what we are actually. Yeah. yeah. It's just being able to notice it and be like open back up to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's my experience of it at least. Yeah. Right. But I, and, and I, you know, over the last whatever, 10 years ha have done a lot of coming into the ultimate version of each of my chakras. I've done that experience over and over and over again in different iterations, but what you just said i've never felt it in that way about the sacral chakra becoming the transcendent sexuality anyway and then and then of course i take that all the way up through all the chakras yes. then what does that become yes all each of them yes on that it level. Your, it's your gateway <laughs> <laughs> oh wow it's your gateway absolutely wow. mm -hmm. i'm gonna be, i'm gonna sit with that one for a while that's and Diana Cooper and Tim Wilde have done some great work around the 12 chakras. 
Mm. Um, and I don't think we should even name them one, two, three, four, five, because they're all, you know, all changing their, their order, mm-hmm. you know, but it's, it's very powerful work, very powerful work of really opening as a base chakra is really the chakra of the, of the, the holy innocent child, because that's where you really parent yourself. It just has two petals mm-hmm. and one is masculine and one is feminine. Mm-hmm. And what is produced from that? Your precious child. It's just really powerful. And your divine mission is anchored in that chakra. Um, so that makes perfect sense to me as we're talking about the threefold flame today, that we are really anchored in that beautiful place right at the bottom. And you know what, in the in the bridge to freedom work, that base chakra is the ascension chakra. And I always just thought that's always been fascinating because it's like, you know, where you think of all the tribal stuff, the, you know, the, the the connection to your family, all that stuff. Now it is actually where we're sending from. <laughs> okay. So cool. There's so much there. Yes, <laughs> That's like, we need another three weeks. <laughs> wow. Yes. Well, um, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. And I'm so grateful to you and I'm so grateful to be connected to you. And I'm mm-hmm. sure that people are going to be really grateful to have uh, a gateway to connect with you more because I certainly feel that way. Um, Wonderful. And thank you so much, Martha, for this beautiful gift that you are giving to us. I know it's a lot of work mm-hmm. and I appreciate that you are willing to do that. Um, I just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.